Welcome back to Animal Parade. In the last part, we finally got fire working around the world. So let's water more crops. At least we got our first lettuce. And it was good. You probably noticed by now, those flowers have been ready to pick for almost the entire LP. There's a reason I'm not picking them yet, because they can actually attract bees. But what I will do is finally buy some cooking implements. Definitely need the cutting board. Because how else am I going to break Ozzy's business? With my tiny little hands. We can also talk to Bo, who's just sort of been hanging out around this minecart. He's supposed to be working on it. But like I mentioned before, his boss can't make a lunch to save his life, and therefore Bo can't do any work. Don't get mad at me. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. He's really determined. <laughs> I, a woodworker, will fix the metal wheels of this cart. Oh my god, he's complaining about his free lunches. Yeah. And he just will not do any work until you give him an actual lunch. You know, back in the day, it was actually common practice for a, a master to have to feed his apprentices. Well, let me put in the barest amount of effort and give him something to eat. It really doesn't matter what you give him, as long as it's an item that you made with cooking utensils. Except for drinks, those don't count. He will eventually fix the minecart. I think it takes three days. Three days of constant feeding? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bo. And with all these gobies that I bought, let's just make a crap ton of sashimi. Now, like I mentioned before, gobies, I think, cost 20 gold or 30 gold. And sashimi sells for 70. So that's a 30 to 40 gold profit that I get. Just for cutting up some raw fish. Yep. And I hang on to some of the sashimi to give to Bo. And let's buy a duckling so we can make some headway into getting into the bluebell. Oh no! <laughs> I name it what it is. You're the worst. That's two on the nose! <laughs> so the thing about ducks, sheep, I think goats and ostriches. Unlike cows and chickens, the products they give will only appear every three days. Cows and chickens, you can milk, get eggs from every day. But the special animals, their products are worth a little bit more. Not nearly as much to completely offset it, but there is a reason, at least. You can't do more with it. I think this is the first game where you can actually milk sheep. Huh. Let's try out those matches we bought. You can only use them a limited amount of times. I'm not sure how many, but I went all of spring and summer without needing to buy another pack. So just don't worry about it. And have a <laughs> campfire in the middle of the bridge. Yeah. Like I mentioned before, dropping fish on a campfire does count as a recipe. And you can take care of it with a water can. I don't think you actually need to. Nobody seems to care if you just leave it lying around. And I think if you go to sleep, the next day the campfire will be out. Look at my little duckling friend. Aww. Oh, hi there, small friend. Let's actually get a camera angle where I can see it. I don't like the fork and spoon over his head. <laughs> yeah, we'll take care of that. He's delicious. Well, she, I assume. She. Yeah. Eat me, eat me. Make some duck sashimi. 
It'll be a little while before she's an adult and she can produce eggs for us. But that's really the only way you can get duck eggs. Unlike the other products, you can't buy it from a store. You need to actually buy the duckling, have it grow up, and plop an egg out for you. Ate the whole board. I was gonna say, and the wasabi. And probably some foodborne parasites. Ooh, probably. Here, notice that weird off path on the 20th floor of the downward Garmin mine. This is where its hot spring is located. Typical Japanese game has to have a hot springs episode. <laughs> I'm just happy that we finally got to see Finn in a bathing suit. Adorable. Here, let's actually see the power-up gas. Like I mentioned before, on the level that you find the power-up gas, every action with your tools does not use up your stamina. At least until you hit another piece of gas, like the darkness gas. At that point, I think it resets. Oh no. The yellow gas is the most dangerous, because that both gives you sleepy gas or cold gas, which are separate things that you need different medicines for. But it doesn't even matter. I got poisoned, and that ran out my stamina. So that's... So thanks for watching the LP, guys. Hey, look at all the money I got, though. Whew. I guess depending on the ingredients, the cooked recipes you make count as different shipping types. So I guess it makes sense sashimi still counts as fishing. It... I might have done that intentionally, thinking about it. I know I did that in Story of Seasons, where I knew it would be raining the next day, so I just went ahead and ran out my stamina. I probably didn't mean to get hit by poison, though. I picked a couple of tulips specifically to sell. The rest I'm leaving, because wind bees do eventually come to the farm. They just sort of fly around one of the flowers, and then when you pick it up, it will actually give you honey. Which is the only way you can get it. What can be kind of annoying with the animals in the barn, if you forget to leave food for them and then you go to the next day, you can't easily feed them while they're in the barn. You have to actually ring them, have them come outside, ring them fodder, feed them there, and then put them back indoors. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. No, I actually did that wrong. If you give both food before 8 a.m., it doesn't count as the cutscene food. Oh. <laughs> he just puts it in his tiny little pocket for later. He just eats it, but then immediately forgets. He's like, oh, after eight, best should be coming by with my lunch. Lunch at eight in the morning. I do need that. Ah, nice. That'll make it easier. Once I got the incubator, I can just buy an egg, and then I can grow a chicken the hard way. Don't need a TV right now. I do need the pot, because that's one of the easiest ways to make money. And make friends, like I mentioned with herbal tea. And there we go, I caught a cold. The thing about sleepy gas and cold gas, it just drains your stamina that much faster. But if you get lucky, you'll find a mole with more bodygizer. At the very least, you can last a certain while. Herbal tea, when you drink it, it says it increases your alertness, which I think does offset the sleepy gas. But not the cold gas. But look at this. The 30th floor of the Garmin Mine is a lava pool. And in this one corner, 
is where you find a power berry. Oh, man. It's Friday the 13th. Uh, best goes to hell. <laughs> yeah. I'm no expert, but shouldn't she be, you know, melting? And bursting into flames, yeah. She has the protection of the pixie of fire. Yeah, since we rang the red bell, Alan's not going to let that happen to us. So, Mira sucks at her job. I think I might have mentioned this before. She has a very high chance of just destroying whatever you give her. The best thing to do is to not come to her with a really tiny stack. Come to her with, like, a stack of 20-plus of whatever ore you're trying to refine. At the very least, when you refine gemstones with her, the same thing applies, but the gemstones sell for a ton of money, and you don't really have many things you can do with them anyway, so just sell them. Ah, oh, nothing but glass. Yep. Glass is the junk ore version of gemstones. Damn it, I can't believe that you had so many fools, Wonderfuls. Yeah. It looks exactly the same. I mean, I haven't even upgraded them to iron yet, but yay. I wonder what they were made of that, that makes copper an upgrade. I don't know. Plastic. Guess so. That incubator looks suspiciously like a bowling ball cleaner. Here's what I was talking about. I wasn't able to feed Susie the entire time. If she's not in the barn at the beginning of the day, she doesn't eat whatever's in the trough. Which is kind of annoying. But she's fine now. Cows are incredibly polite. <laughs> oh, is this for me? Oh, I shouldn't eat it. This might belong to someone else. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I don't care if the sign says Susie over it. I'm a cow! I can't read! I know the fire's active. Chase is working at the bar. And he's trying to get Maya to cook. She's really bad at it. Kick the trash can, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Have some bleeping passion! Actually, when I streamed this game, like, last year, I think, this cutscene played, and pretty much everyone in the chat started calling Chase Gordon Ramsay. Nice. Oh, it's you. How did you get coerced there, butterfly clip? Not skills that you develop over time. Nope. You can't learn. You're not bored with it. <laughs> Never have it. You're not born with it anyway, Maybelline. But this actually opens up a recurring side quest we can do with Chase. He wants us to cook certain ingredients, and it either depends on the cooking utensil or the ingredient itself but we specifically need to bring him cooked foods that are worth a certain amount of money, because that defines its quality above all else. And there are actual ways to cheat that. I think one of the earliest recipes, you can just buy something from the inn next door, and then give it to him, and he thinks it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. 
get food for a fancy dinner and try to pass it off as your own. Yeah, man. You, you just slide some Boston pizza baked pasta onto a plate. <laughs> <laughs> I made this! It is kind of cool. Late at the night, folks from all around town will hang out at the bar. So if you missed anyone, there's a good chance they'll be here. I like to think Best is just sweating profusely right now and <laughs> probably has a drippy nose. It's like, hey guys, how you doing? Yo. You idiot. <laughs> All I know about water is what I put in my whiskey. I mean, nothing, nothing. You didn't hear anything, you drunks. <laughs> Alcohol goes to your ears. <laughs> oh, a tiny animal parade. <laughs> she says as it bursts into flames. <laughs> Oh, ew. Come on, Maya. At least use a spoon. At my own house. A mile away. And now we can buy some decent food from the inn. Including shit we're gonna give to Chase. So wait, he cooks the food? And then you take it and bring it next door and give it to him. <laughs> he cooks at the bar. I think he was just showing Maya how to cook. Again. No, you don't, honey. Honey, you don't. <laughs> Yolanda! No admittance. Oh, uh, oh, heaven. <laughs> Kitchen staff only. You gotta be more assertive, best. You gotta be like, Hey! Buttholes! Get out of my way! Move away from the thing that you own. I wanna look at this! <laughs> my bloobies! Good rule of thumb of the pot. Two of the same fruit will give you a jam. I think once we get the mixer, you can make juice out of that, and I think it's technically worth more than a jam. Which is a little silly. Like, the jam condenses the fruit, both the ingredient and the price. The difference between jam and jelly is that jam has pieces of fruit in it, while jelly is made from fruit juice. Yep. Oh, no kidding. Both are thickened with fruit pectin, which is made from fruit cells. Yo, oh, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> <laughs> Says Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear this. Hamilton, you idiot. What do you think I've been doing? She's incredibly shocked by this information. Time is linear? <laughs> Finn, did you know about this? Mm -hmm. No, please, keep talking to me. No, throws. <laughs> Enjoy your five-day-old raw fish. Oh, how unexpected, Best. I sure wasn't expecting the lunch that I coerced out of you. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky here. White Wonderfuls are where you get diamonds. Nope. Yep.
Yeah, just c get it cut. I doubt they can tell the difference around here. <gasps> nice. We'll definitely get something out of the yellow wonderfuls. Something. Ooh. You could clone yourself a draft mammoth. <laughs> and milk it. Yeah, mammoth milk. Mmm. Make mammoth cheese like Skyrim. Oh, yeah, that's great. And then the giants would be coming by all like, Ah, oh, I'd like this mammoth cheese, please. And then they knock Best into orbit. They don't mean it. That's how they say hello. Yeah. And it's a love tap. Man, you're out of counter space. Yep. I think when I upgrade my house, it'll give me an additional space. But for most of the game, I'm just going to be cycling out the cooking utensils. I'm not entirely sure, but one of these utensils has beyond way more recipes than the others. Hey, you got back there. And there's nothing. Nothing there. I'm just gonna give that to Chase. He's not gonna know the difference. <sighs> Thank goodness for that cup of herbal tea in your pocket. Yep. Make a nice big stain. As you can see, herbal tea is a lot more effective than the mushroom. But I know which one I have more of. This is why I'm not worrying too much about getting lumber. Not until I upgrade my axe. Because that is insane. Holy bully, yeah, that took a million years. And you don't get lumber from the tree, only from the little twigs on the ground. I made this. Eh. Rice policy. Traditional Japanese snack or meal. Uh, they can have both savory or sweet contents. Oh, nigiri des. Desu. Sugoi ne. <laughs> I know you didn't make it. Why, this is restaurant quality. <laughs> and how did you make this commercial wrapper for it? And he gave us some pudding. Why does it have the inn's logo on it? <laughs> <laughs> Fried rice ball, you got it. <laughs> My customers would love to eat this food that I make. No, 10,000. 917. And now that I've got the cutting board, I'm only gonna get more. Aw, uh, yeah. What's what's your favorite filling for a rice ball, Yami? Eel or chicken teriyaki. Ooh, whoa, fancy. Yeah. I made my own rice balls once with uh, canned tuna and soy sauce in them, and oh boy, I tell you, they were fucking atrocious. <laughs> No, it's, it sounds like such a smart combination, you know? Yeah, man. I should have just gone with my heart and made a tuna and mayonnaise rice ball. Fully integrated into the American palate. Yeah, absolutely. Cheeseburger rice balls, baked lasagna rice balls, man alive. You do a lot with a hunk of wet rice. <laughs> and be judged for it. And then fry the whole thing. Yeah, of course. Country fried onigiri. <laughs> Kentucky fried Japan. Ah, so good. Deep fry some sushi. I swear, the amount of sushi I've seen with cream cheese in it is... Ugh. Oh my god, yeah. Cream cheese or avocado? It's like they're making sushi for children. You keep your hands off my avocado. 
Oh man, seriously. You guys and your greasy tree nuts. <laughs> I suppose it's technically a fruit. It's like an obese peach. <laughs> We've been getting really philosophical here in these end bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the word you want to use hey man you know <laughs> sound off in the comments <laughs> you jerks <laughs> why is skippy wrong name the reasons yeah i'd like a dissertation please remember to cite your sources that's right if you can find scholarly sources for why i'm a dipshit that's fine <laughs> <laughs> i think by that point you can't really argue it no it's true I'll get it peer-reviewed, and then we'll see. Then we'll see who the dipshit is. That in, like, deep-fried sashimi is called tempura. It already exists. <gasps> but it's not fish. It can be. I've never seen a deep-fried fish tempura. Mm. You can bread it, you can fry it. Oh, man. My eyes have been open today. Essay contest cancelled. <laughs> 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 Wait, which contest? It doesn't matter, it's- it's cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the prize for myself. The prize was a deep-fried avocado. <laughs> <laughs> With the shell and everything. <laughs> That's right, a deep-fried tree nut. Have you ever had an avocado? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen one before? <laughs> You know, I gotta be honest, I can't be 100% certain I have. <laughs> you ever think maybe you'd seen a walnut, cashew, maybe? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. You know, they're they're both wrinkly and weird looking. But were any of them green on the inside? And if it was a pistachio, it doesn't count. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you know, if they go off a little bit, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they can get a little green and funky up in there. Well, if avocados go off, they go brown, so maybe that was the problem. So hang on, if I've got, say, a nice brown walnut, how do I know it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it, enough, this is too dumb. Too dumb even for me. <laughs> but hey, if you uh, take the pit out of an avocado, put a couple toothpicks in it and suspend it in a glass of water, you can be horribly disappointed when nothing happens. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Ha <laughs>